Hey guys, just bringing you an update video. Haha, <laughs> cams are out. Yes, sir. Now, I've read on a lot of the forums and stuff that you can't remove the cams without removing the head. And thanks to the expertise of Joshua Banks out there at DeLorean Performance, we found out that is not the case. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what you got to do in order to achieve this. Now, keep in mind. Well, even if you remove the head, you're going to have to redo the time anyway, unless you've got that stupid freaking tool that apparently only a few people have, and I don't uh, have one. So, basically, you're going to have to reset the timing. Now, I did set this to top dead center, so I had something to go off of before I started removing stuff. So, you are going to have to remove the sprockets. Now, they're just hanging there right now. Uh, no harm, no foul. And... Obviously, as you can see here, there are still head bolts in the engine, and you didn't have to remove those, because if you remove those, you have to replace them, and you have to replace the head gaskets, and the head gaskets aren't bad, but the head bolts are like anywhere between $150 to like $250, and F that. If it's not broken, don't fix it, and I'm a firm believer that if you change out head gaskets, you absolutely need to change out the head bolts. In fact, one of my buddies who's a master mechanic, he won't even he won't even help you do the job unless you've got replacement head bolts because he's just this is what he believes. So, on to what you gotta do. Now I would have filmed this while I was doing it, but believe it or not, I was actually learning to do this myself for the first time. It basically consists of pulling out the uh, the oil supply or the rocker shaft uh, separate. And how you do that is, you're going to line up your time and take the valve covers off, take the timing chain cover off, and you're going to basically un you're going to loosen up all the uh, all the valves here, okay? And what you um, what I mean not the valves, but let me get over here. Sorry. Like when you do your valve adjustment on this car, you have your nut and you have a screw right here, and that's how you adjust your. Uh, your valves. Well, what you're going to do is you're basically going to loosen this up and loosen this up a little bit and then make sure, don't lose these, so make sure you put the nut back on there so you don't lose it. And you loosen that up to where the rockers are kind of free playing a little bit. And yeah. And what basically what you're going to do from there, as soon as that happens, now I'm not saying this is the only way to do this, I'm just saying this is how I did it. From there, you're going to loosen up the sprocket, or actually the tensioner, I apologize. You're going to want to loosen up the tensioners on the chains, so you got some slack in the chain. And then you're going to want to undo your sprocket, because the sprocket won't come off if you, don't, if you don't take off the tensioners. So, which means they're doing their jobs, which is a good thing. So you take the sprocket off, and then there's this little key here that kind of holds the cam in place, as you can see. And that is a, believe, uh... Now, in case you're wondering, the uh, cam sprocket is a uh, 10 millimeter uh, hex bolt, so or hex. Uh, so there you go on that. Um, so once you take that screw out, which I believe that was a 10, you take that off. You kind of just wiggle it out. Just be very careful not to bend or damage anything. Don't force anything. That is the one thing I'm learning very carefully with this engine. Don't force it. There is a way to not have to force it, and just, yeah. So, once you remove that, and this goes for both sides, you're going to see one of the cam, you're going to see both of these that have a little, let me move this up, a little retainer ring right there. See that? You don't have to remove that. In fact, leave it on, because you're going to slide it out the opposite way, and basically what you're going to have is uh, on the, passenger on the driver's side the retaining ring was here on the driver's side on the passenger side it was on this side here so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide this opposite okay and basically what you do you might this side gave me oh uh this side gave me a little bit more trouble than the other side but not much uh and i'll tell you why in a second but you're basically just going to lightly push and it should should quotations should slide right out and you're going to remove that entire shaft out the back here and then from there you can carefully 
take all the all the rockers and the springs and the spacers, and you basically just want to put them right back on the shaft in the order you take them off. Don't take them all off and try to second guess where they're going. You're going to want this all to be in order for when you go to reinstall. And from there, at least on the passenger side, I'll talk about the dr uh, driver's side here in a second. The passenger side, once those are out of the way, you can literally just slide the cam push from here and just slide the cam just be careful don't bang it or what it just wiggle it out just let it wiggle and just bring it out the back obviously you'll have to remove the uh, backing plates on here now on the passengers on the driver's side sorry I keep mixing those fuckers up on the driver's side you have your distributor gear okay uh, that's gonna get in the way of the cam coming out so you're gonna have to loosen up this bolt up here which I'm going to go ahead and say you're going to have to redo all this timing anyway. So what difference does it make? At least I, knew, I, I was pretty sure I was going to have to. So you pull that, you undo that bolt and you just, you don't have to even pull it out. You just got to lift it up just enough to where that gear goes right up into there. And then you can just slide the camshaft out, bring that back down, replace the bolt so you don't lose it. And you're good to go. And that is how you take out cams on a DeLorean 2.8 liter V6 engine without removing the heads. Now, probably asking me, probably asking yourself, well, why in the hell would you remove the camshaft and just not go ahead and replace the heads while you're there? Well, like I said earlier in the video, it came down to cost. I don't like the cheapskate on anything, but unfortunately, $250 plus for freaking head bolts are ridiculous and there was nothing wrong with the head gaskets last year when i drove it now for some reason i put this all back together and i sprung a head gasket leak well then lesson learned but until then this is how i'm doing it but i've seen several questions on the forums and everything can you remove the cans without removing the head and nine times out of ten the answer has been no but it is possible and this is how you do it it's just making sure oh one final thing before i forget on the rocker shaft there is a screw actually right here on this side and it's on that side on the driver's side but there is a little 11 meter 11, 11 millimeter bolt right there i believe it was 11 it was either 11 or 10 and you have to undo that before you can pull it out so just an fyi for you but once that's done you should be able to slide it all out. As you can see, this is in pretty good shape. I'm probably going to clean it up a little bit. There might be a little bit of dirt that got in there, dirt and grime, and we want to make sure that's all cleaned up. But like I said, if you want to remove, I'm putting performance cams in here, as you probably know if you followed my other videos, and that's the reason for changing out the cams. I'm opting for DeLorean Performance Industries cams, and I got to take the old cams out because they got to be regrinded by Josh up there. And like I said, that, that's basically how you work this procedure, guys. But if you have any questions, ask me. I'll answer them to my best of my ability. But that's basically all I had uh, going on today. It's too cold to paint, unfortunately. Winter is being a real pain in the testicle and fucking doing everything it can to hold on. So it's too cold to paint today. But that's about all I'm at right now, guys. So hopefully i get a hold of josh here soon and he can let me know i'm going to try to run these these cores up to him because i got new valve covers and new uh uh timing chain cover coming and like i said i want to go ahead and start getting this back together we're getting close to where it's going to be drivable and i just want to get this whole engine resealed and put back together so but that's all i got for you guys today uh subscribe to the channel if you want updates and just you know like i said let me know what you guys think i will talk to you next time